research is an integral part and core to development. Medical research is even more pertinent since it drives herd health in society, which is made up of people who in turn drive productivity in the economy. My guest today is a serious believer in medical research. He's the chair of the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research Foundation, NIMA Foundation. The foundation, realizing the role that medical research plays in securing the strategic needs of the nation and its people, are striving to put Nigeria on the map of developed globally, a phenomenon that is evident in the fact that most developed nations are those who invest most heavily in research, especially medical research for the health of its citizenry. And um, looking back to COVID, we'll now see how important health has become and health research also in unison. Therefore, today on Bridges, we will attempt to build a bridge for research as an investment and development concern which is working in other places and we want to make it work in Nigeria. Welcome to Bridges. I'm Mujima Kojola. My guest has been on Bridges before, but this time we're bringing him in another stand. Meet the chairman, Naima Foundation, Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, former governor of Lagos State, our chair, I call him, Your Excellency Babatunde Raji Fashola. Welcome. Thank you for having me, the yes. great bridge builder that you are. <laughs> Thank you. So here we are again, talking about your passion today. Well, it's our mutual passion. It's our mutual passion, yes. You also serve <laughs> on the foundation, and uh, you're being an, an, an asset, a gem to that foundation, and there is, there is a lot we could not have done without you. Thank you very much uh, for that compliment. So here we are, uh, having our Bible, the gospel according to research. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going on evangelism. Right, now, there's something that you share with us that, you know, just sticks a chord in you about research. Let, let's, let's start from there, from the very beginning. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I remain uh, very grateful to Professor Salako for the idea behind a foundation to help propagate the work of the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, NIMA, that's the acronym. And it is that foundation that I sit as member and chair of Board of Trustees, and Mrs. Marco Jola is also a member of the Board of Trustees with uh, uh, Professor Ni Digbe and Professor Gureje, and of course, his Highness uh, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. So, and it has been a very educative, eye-opening experience. Some of the things that we've taken for granted. Uh, my mother is a nurse, so I've had some connection with hospitals from infancy till date. And one of the things that I just realized is that um, we haven't optimized the potential for research in our country and indeed on our continent. So NIMA was created in 1976, a far-sighted vision as I call it. And that was also the day that FIRO was created. So there were, and there were two other agencies. But instructively, FIRO was in industrial research, NIMA was in medical research. And for some reason, government has not funded them the way they should have. And so they haven't been able to compete with their, with their peers. So serving now as a member of the Board of Trustees and Chair, and all of us serve for free, we actually use our money to propagate the need to support NIMA, the agency so that she can do more. And uh, we are on what we call now an evangelism to bring awareness to Nigerians about research and the need to contribute 
whether a CSR, whether you're a foundation, whether you're a company, research funding is an area of possible CSR, if you haven't looked at it. The Medical Research Institute has its main offices in Yaba, in Lagos, and it's amazing some of the work that they have done in Nigeria. Even during COVID, they helped develop some uh, sequencing capacity for the virus. They've been very instrumental in helping to develop knowledge about diseases that are peculiar to Nigeria and to Africa in terms of increasing the quality of knowledge about things like sickle cell anemia and disease and treatment to prolong life. So, and there's a lot of work, a lot of work that can be done if they have resources. So our work is to evangelize for the funding of NIMA by everybody concerned, government, private sector, charitable organizations, those who have money, who are looking for good causes to donate their money to when they pass in their wills or trying to create trust to benefit humanity, research is the place I recommend that you put your money in. I'd, I'd just like to take that from uh, His Excellency to further expand the fact that without research, really, we won't be where we are today. Uh, probably His Excellency and myself will be groping in the dark because research gave us this. Yes. And that's, that's an uh, important point. And that's an important. And there are peculiarities in terms of diseases uh, that are black man disease that is only at that research lab domiciled in our country that things can, can be right. And so that's the bridge we are attempting to build on this program today. I'll go to you. Uh, research and investment, how do they, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do they work? Okay, so let's go back to the eyeglasses. So, and let's just see what we're dealing with here. First of all, in terms of human capital development, just imagine how many people across the world will be unable to function without research. So I see even one of our cameramen is wearing glasses. So we couldn't reach you effectively if we did not have the benefit of reading glasses. This is a product of research. But do you know how big it is? As of 2018, this industry was $130 billion big. Glasses and sight is a global business that is $130 billion big. By 2050, it is predicted that half of the human population will need glasses by 2050. So you'll be looking at a business that will be about 250, over $200 billion. And if Nigeria is not playing in that industry, then we're losing a lot in terms of economic opportunities, job creation, made in Nigeria lenses, made in Nigeria glasses, made in Nigeria frames. So that's, that's the connect. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what research has done in terms of human capital development, some of the readings that I did to check up shows that between 1980 and now, medical research has given the human civilization an additional five years of life expectancy that was not there in 1980. And it has come in diverse fields. Medical research has reduced disability by 25% from the time when it's been measured from 1982 to now. And medical research has reduced the number of days globally that the human civilization spends in hospital. And there's a lot of work still going on. So if you are taking vitamin C, if you are taking insulin in the morning, this is a product of medical research. Diabetes, people who could have died before, can now live a useful life with the aid of growth. So, but there is still there an economy. The supply chain that supplies specimen, that employs research assistants, aids, skill sets, manpower is an enormous industry that we are not yet even playing in. In fact, um, from, from the perspective of uh, the foundation, 
one other area that really Nigeria can develop and sell and make gains is that on human capital. The young scientists that, you know, over the years maybe are there uh, hand, cap in hand asking for um, um, jobs. There are jobs waiting out there. And um, I would also like our chair to speak to that, that um, the potentials in research is so huge. And this is a very special edition of Bridges. So you can see that uh, I'm not just speaking to questions. <laughs> I'm also being able, I'm also advocating on this because it's a serious business and it's something that we need to do, especially in a world where our own peculiarity, peculiar needs are because of what we are and who we are as blacks and blacks and we are the largest black people on earth. Now, how can Naima help us to I stop dying? I think the question really is to rephrase it. How can we help Naima, Naima to help us? To help us. Because actually. Naima has the capacity. She has the scientists. The only thing that is standing in Naima's horizon is a lack of sustainable and predictable funding source. So Naima cannot just be funded through budget alone. That will help. Naima needs to know that there is a store of resource because sometimes the result of research takes time. So if you imagine our lives today without a syringe, without a syringe, but that's a syringe is the product of research. And this is the way in which blood transfusion, life-saving blood transfusion can be done. And this is the way in which all of us began to take comfort from a COVID pandemic that scared the whole world. And the only thing that brought comfort to us was the syringe that could put the virus inside our bodies. So just imagine if there was no syringe. So, I mean, the case for re research is not only compelling, it is riveting, but in terms of opportunities for economic uh, capabilities. Just imagine how much we could have earned if we had been one of the first to produce a vaccine. And look at how much we are spending trying to import vaccines. And look at the jobs that... So it's a no-brainer here. But it is for us to start from the basics. And there are areas of research that foremost research companies in other jurisdictions will not undertake because solutions to those problems which are peculiar to us is, an, is not an economic benefit to them. So if I can continue to export mosquito nets to you, why should I research how to eradicate malaria? And, and this is the reason why we must take the bull by the horn now. We have the institute, we have the men and women, we have the capacity, but we need the resources to go to Naima to help fund research. Yes. How now? We, we need everybody, every every Kobo, every Naira matters. But how are we going to ensure that uh, Naima? Uh, you, because research is very expensive and it's not tangible, like you said. It's not something. I mean, you could do a research on a medication for 10 years. And, and it produces nothing. And <laughs> it produces nothing. And you can't be there, you know, do it in three months. Uh, like the, uh, the vaccine was accelerated because there was a line yeah. to produce vaccine for COVID. Now, going forward um, in our evangelism, as we are trying to do on, uh, on Bridges today, uh, what, what are your suggestions? What is it that as a people, as a country, we must be conscious of so that we see research as an integral part of development? So I've seen some of the things that have been done. Uh, the leadership of Naima must engage Nigerians more, showcase what it has done, and showcase what it can do, and indicate in which way willing people can also help because there has to be uh, uh, a mutuality of engagement now. Even those who want to help, how can they reach Naima? And that is the case that Naima must bring out. So this is a good starting point. 
And as I said at our last board meeting, we must continue the advocacy on behalf of Naima, visiting people like the Minister for Finance who received and embraced us. Hopefully, we will engage with members of the National Assembly also to begin to create the awareness that government is the owner of Naima, and government must therefore be the lead financier of Naima. But understanding that private sector also can play a role. I know many uh, uh, foundations that have been set up by Nigerians who are privileged and who will happily invest in courses like this. But it isn't just work to be left just to foundations and government alone. It is work that all of us can, can benefit from and that we can contribute whatever is excess to. So Naima must also come out now and show a dedicated account to which people can voluntarily transfer money as, as a fund and then show, of course, a, a, a sense of accountability to be able uh, to well, publish yes, yes. and announce and report progress. So it's, it's, it's a work that would not end uh, in the foreseeable time if it ends at all. Mm -hmm. But it is work that must be done. Done. It's work that must be done in the sense that um, health is wealth. Oh, yeah. And um, until, of course, we are able to build a healthy herd of Nigerians, we might not be able to fast track on that sustainable bridge that will take us to the promised land. Now, um, just before we go, let me just bring in Professor Salakoy here to speak on the ascents and some of the things that they have been able to do. Uh, Professor Salako, by the way, is the Director General of the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research. Over to you. The mandate of NIMA is to conduct research into diseases of public health importance in Nigeria. Uh, what that means is to look at diseases that are ravaging our country, um, causing a lot of uh, illness and death uh, among our population, in order to find new solutions uh, to curbing the uh, impact of those diseases on the health of our community. The Institute has been instrumental in malaria control and um, many of the non neglected tropical diseases like guinea worm control and onchocerciasis and of course currently um, um, buruli ulcers. These are areas that institutes have done research and have provided in conjunction with others uh, solutions on the control and sometimes eradication of those diseases, especially guinea worm. The idea is that we do research that will have direct impact on the health of the people. And not just that, that will lead to product development. And of course, product development will lead to economic prosperity um, for the institute or for the nation, as it were. And we as research institute require more funding, much more than many other areas, because research finds solution to problems, especially health problems. And health research is perhaps um, one of the research that has contributed most to human development. And therefore, countries must necessarily fund research generally, but health research in particular, either for social development or for business interests. Whichever way they want, they can always get. Thank you, Prof. Uh, I'll come back now to our chair. So um, we see that there is truth, there's reality, and this is something that can bring life, I mean, that can make life 
more comfortable uh, looking at the peculiarities of the diseases that we as Nigerians go through. Having said that, uh, Chair, before we conclude on this edition, uh, what would be your final word? What is that thing that you must, uh, as Nigerians, we must engage to ensure that Naima becomes that institution that people will come for research for black man's needs? Because these days, we still take samples to South Africa when we had polio. We took samples to South Africa, to Malaysia, to India. India today draws so much funds from you know, research uh, uh, materials. What is it that as a people together we can do to sustain and ensure that Naima becomes the institution to go for black man's peculiar medical needs? Well, if health is wealth, and I believe it is, uh, as far as Nigeria is concerned, an investment in Naima in developing its research capacity is the express way to our prosperity. It creates work, it creates opportunities, it drives the value chain of supplies, uh, and it also breaks frontiers of healthcare and liberates the, the human being and unleashes uh, us onto uh, yet untold heights. So we're living longer, we're living better, and uh, there's really no limit to what can be achieved in terms of our quality of life uh, if Naima works for us. And we can make Naima work for us by giving Naima the tools to do her job. And those tools are the funds that we are able to raise that will ensure that Naima continues to do what they know how to do best. And that way creating for us a healthier environment, a healthier place, healthier, name it, where I can you know, continue to see our chair function. Optimally. And our bridge builder function <laughs> optimally, <laughs> so that, as that, she has always done. So that's it. That's all time will permit on Bridges today. Thanks for watching. Would we'll ensure that uh, we we'll link up with Naima to uh, to promote the uh, where you can. You know, put in your funds. Everywhere you go in the world, there's, there's all kinds of funds that are being collected, uh, crowdfunding, actually, mm -hmm. that will ensure that uh, together we build a sustainable Nigerian Institute of Medical Research. That's it on Bridges. Thanks for watching. We'll be back same time next week.